Well, this is a gentleman uh, we did about a year ago, I think just for pancreatitis, and he had a, a short pancreatic stricture, no mass, and we had him seen by surgery to see what they wanted to do with it. I don't think we even biopsied it because it really wasn't that suspicious. It's question mark IPMN as well. And so they're sending him back for reevaluation, and he remains uh, asymptomatic uh, since that time. Okay, so he's on the tube down the bush. Respirez bien. So again, keep the balloon up a little bit. I think it's safer. Put the scope in the mouth, just let him get used to it. Then tip down, pull it into the back of the mouth. Put the head forward. Avalé just un petit Un petit coup encore. Avalé encore un petit coup. Hold on. But that doesn't work. Then we get a little more aggressive. Hold on. Let's go to the side over here. Let's see sur le côté, comme ça. Okay. Avalé un petit coup, s'il vous plaît. Encore un petit coup. Faut avaler. Hold on. Okay. Avalé encore un petit coup. Penchez la tête vers l'avant. This guy is not swallowing. Avalé encore un petit coup, s'il vous plaît. Penchez la tête vers l'avant. There we go. Okay. Encore un petit coup. Merci. Voilà. So I really think having the balloon up. Avalé encore un petit coup. Okay. Just, you know, just makes things safer for sure. There we go. All right, so now we're in. There's his liver, okay. So keep, keep yourself in the center of the liver here, right down like this, torque with your left arm. There's the vein coming out. Following the vein, it's gonna split S SMV, PD. So there's the, there's the genuous pancreas. Right away, the parenchyma looks a bit like chronic pancreatitis, actually quite a lot like chronic pan. And there's his pancreatic duct. We're going to follow that out to the tail. If you want to get a longer view of the duct, give it some left on the left right. Lock it with your thumb and then just torque and you'll get a longer view of the pancreas. Like this. So that looks okay. So we're gonna, and, and you see that it's, there's no signs of PD obstruction. It's a thin PD. See if I can see into the head a little bit from here. So the head of the pancreas is down here. Okay. And you can see... I think this is his bile duct here. We can follow that down into the head. You can see the pancreatic duct next to it there. There we go. You can still see some PD there. So, so far, I'm not seeing anything that looks really... A da There's the, a nicer view of his PD, which is, uh, which is uh, prominent, but smooth. Okay, and it's, let's measure it too, which is pretty much within normal limits. Okay, so let's go into the bulb. Endoscopic into the bulb. There we go. Where's his pylorus? That's up there. Okay, so look at the apex, tip up, go left. There's the portal vein here. You want to get deep in the hilum, then torque right. There's the bile duct following it down, 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 into the head right there. So there's the bile duct and the PD right there. His ventral PD here is somewhat large, looking anyway, 4.7. So that it should be theoretically less than three. So, so far, all I'm seeing is just chronic pancreatitis. You can see one, brun one branch heading off into the uncinate here. You can see his pancreatic duct goes well out of the ventral pancreas into the dorsal pancreas, so no divisum. So, so far I'm just seeing chronic pan and that's it. So I don't know what I saw last time because I'm really not seeing anything exciting here. Okay, we're gonna go into D2. Around the corner. There we go. Keeping the balloon up again, pulling back. There we go. Just wiggling again. You don't wanna push, just let the balloon uh, sort of slide its way into D2. Then once you're under, then you tip up, max up and pull back. So coming across, just looking around. When, when it starts getting a little darker around here, you know you're getting to the pancreas, to the ventral pancreas. Okay, there's the, uh, there's the PD and the bile duct going to the papilla. Bile duct PD there. So the duodenal wall is right here. So from this view, you can see there's nothing obstructive down there. 
This is all the unscented process under here. And this looks good. So just uh, really nothing, nothing too exciting here. This is, this is where you'll see the, uh, the IPMNs and the unsnet. He doesn't have one, but uh, they're just coming back across the Jane. So this is how you get a long view of the PD and a long view of the bile deck with a linear scope. So you can get an excellent long view of the bile deck with a linear scope by coming back this way. Now I'm coming back a across the genu, okay? And in this view, what happens is the PD goes around the, goes around the genu and the bile deck comes back and then goes into the screen up into the liver. And that's it. So I'm not seeing any stricture or anything. I don't know what we saw last time, but it just looks like uh, basically chronic pancreatitis. So I want to look at the stricture now. So the PD here, to make sure you're, you're not going into the fundus, okay? So if we go out to the tail here. So there's the pancreatic duct here, which is thin. And we follow it, follow it, follow it. Slow. Then it disappears a bit. No, there it is still. There it is. And then follow it, follow it, follow it. And then that's still not dilated. There it is there still, right here. Follow it there, and then all of a sudden it gets big. See right there, it gets big. That's what was happening last time. Okay, so he has this, I'm gonna try and get a long view of this. So that, that's quite a, you know, that is really an obstructed PD right there that just gets large all of a sudden. And you have to look because sometimes you'll see You have to look, maybe you'll see like an early stone or something. But there's something, there's clearly something. We lose the duct a little bit right from here to here. We lose the duct. And then that's, that is a malignant looking obstruction of the pancreatic duct. Okay, that is a very, very abnormal duct. And you wonder if the walls are a little thickened. I think this guy... I don't know. I mean, I think uh, they should probably consider just taking this out. I could biopsy it, the stricture. But that is a malignant looking obstruction. See, the thing about it is, is if it's a malignancy, there's a risk of tumor seeding in the, in the gastric wall. So that's why I'm going to talk to the surgeon and say, look, uh, if you really want me to needle it, I'll do it. But, you know, this is, we're looking at a tail resection. He's a pretty healthy guy. Uh, even though it's asymptomatic, I think they should just take this out. That is very bizarre. See, it's all right in here. The, uh, and that could be like a, a papillary formation that we're just not seeing properly. It's just to this really short stricture. That, that is very strange. I don't know if it's evolved since last year. I have to look at the measurements from the last report. But that's a really, uh, I say that this, this dilation, this, this, uh, this is really a malignant looking obstruction. You'll see this you know, above tumors. So that's why I'm concerned about this. Uh, uh, and then you wonder if there's something. And sometimes if there's a stone, it can be very subtle. It can be really hard to see. If I found a stone, I would be much more reassured. But I'm not, I'm not seeing it. That is really... Because, uh, you know, I, I, are we just going to keep doing EUSs on this guy for the rest of his life? I, I don't know. I think, I think it's certainly worth a discussion with the surgeon to see what, what the long-term plan is for this guy. Okay, and that's it. That's why I have lots of pictures for that. That's very, very interesting. It's, it's essentially unchanged, but I'm just concerned that when it starts changing, if it ever does, it could be too late. So I think as soon as the tail resection, it might be better to just have it taken out.